welcome to another video. Today we are going to be looking at some BuzzFeed articles about what women should be doing with their bodies. <laughs> so as I often say in my videos, today's gonna be a little bit different than normal because this is the first time I've ever attempted to do a quote-unquote commentary video I suppose. But yeah, let's get into it. Before we start, actually, I would like to draw your attention to this beautiful top that I'm wearing. Uh, it's got a skull on it. Makes me feel really badass. <laughs> Even though it is from the kids section, it is a quote-unquote boy's small child's top. <laughs> that was a weird interlude. Right, so I've got my beautiful Samsung phone here. I need to remember to screen record. So there is going to be a tiny little icon in the corner of my screen that might be distracting. If that is the case, I'm very sorry, but I don't know how else to do this. <laughs> There's Buzzfeed and then there is a Diply article. Um, we've got sexist things that are normalized. 27 microaggressions and gross things that girls have to do. I'm gonna go with the gross things that girls have to do. Okay, so this was posted on October 6th, 2019. And I think that it's very important that we know the date. Okay, so it is 41 gross things most girls have done that are also totally normal. So they're trying to like make it seem as if it's like, oh, this is really disgusting, but you know, it's normal. Whereas I'd rather it kind of not have the word gross in it, but there we go. Hair down here makes me look nicer. Okay, because things that are gross and things that are normal are not mutually exclusive. This is by Crystal Rowe from Buzzfeed. Okay. I didn't shower today! <laughs> Which is not gross. Not showering in a 24 hour period is not gross. Like, it's actually conserving water, which is a good thing. Okay, right. Worn the same bra for several days or even weeks in a row. Yes, I have done this. And again, you're saving water. And how dirty does the cup of a bra actually get? Probably need someone qualified to answer that question. Okay. Worn the same pyjamas for several days or longer. Again, conserving water. My pyjamas don't necessarily get that dirty. On average, I change my pyjamas every three days. Come for me if you want. Smelled clothes you've already worn to see if they're too stinky to wear or not. May I defer to my replies previously. I don't think that that's gross. I think that that's fairly normal. You're gonna smell a jumper before you put it on to make sure that it's clean enough. No one wants to smell. Four, dug dirty clothes or a bra out of a hamper because you really wanted to wear them. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually done this one. I might have done, uh, but I don't really remember ever doing that because sort of like for me, <laughs> If it's in the dirty laundry, it's because it's dirty and it needs washing and therefore I feel like that's a level that I've personally never gone to. But also I don't really care if you've done that then fair enough, you're conserving water and that is a good thing. Okay. Not washed your hair for a few days in a row. Why is that gross? Please. I mean I just showered today so my hair is clean. Scratched your head and inspected the skin under your nails afterwards. Yes, I have done that and I do that probably daily because I've got some terrible stuff going on in my scalp. Shall I give you a close up or is that gross? <laughs> That's my scalp. Um, okay, I've not like, you can't really see very much dandruff but then if I scratch my scalp here There's skin particles under my nails. 
is that gross that that happens? I think that that's like the normal cycle of skin just on my scalp. Number one tip that I've got for anybody who has dandruff, if you have a scalp like mine, I've got a... I'm, okay, right, number one. My skin is incredibly sensitive. I've got super sensitive skin. I'm allergic to the sun. Literally, if I go to somewhere that's a hot country, I come out in blisters, itchy, horrible, sore skin, and there's not really anything that you can do for it. Uh, like, it's not sunburn. I've had sunburn. It's not sunburn. It's like blistery, itchy, uncomfortable, fire skin. <laughs> I have to use sensitive things, even some sensitive ranges I am allergic to. I have to be really, really careful with what I put on my skin. So, I also have skin on the top of my head, often known as a scalp. So I have to be really careful with what I use on my scalp as well. I also, am I going into too much de detail? I do, I have had dandruff in the past and the best thing that I ever did for my quote unquote dandruff was just to leave it alone. When I wash my hair, I don't dig my nails in. I just, you know, with the pads of my fingers, massage shampoo into my scalp. Um, if I've got an itch, then fair enough, I will itch it, but I don't actively try to remove my dandruff because what I've found through the years is that if I do actively try and remove it, it makes the flakiness worse. So people that know me, have you ever noticed that my scalp is gross? If you have, I'm really sorry, let me know and I'll try something else to try and make it better. But as far as I'm aware, that has helped my scalp is just by leaving it alone. Don't aggravate it. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox now. This, uh, this, uh, speaking of skin, this is what this looks like now. Um, I've been using an emollient. I've been using lanolin, sheep's wool. Um, um, so it's like, it's, it's not for me. Like the product hasn't been made for me. Like, hey, people, have you got something weird with your skin? No, it's for breastfeeding mothers. And I got a, like a little travel sized, uh, tube very 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 expensive but i've been putting that on my on this patch here at night and it's sort of making it better i think it's not as noticeable as it was okay so scratched your head yeah we've already seen that and then smelt it um yeah yeah i have smelt it it smells like my scalp it smells sort of like greasy <laughs> okay used hairspray or dry shampoo to cover up the smell of unwashed hair I don't, I've never used it to cover up the smell of unwashed hair. I have used it to make my hair look less greasy. But no, I've never, never for the smell. Can people smell? Probably. Eaten food out of your bra that fell in there by accident. I'm not going to waste food. Uh, scraped your teeth. What? Scraped your teeth with your fingernails just out of curiosity? I've never done that out of curiosity. I've done that because I've had too much sugar in a day. <laughs> People are gonna unsubscribe now, aren't they? <laughs> okay. Number 11, and inspected the plaque under your nails. Right, I don't think that that's gross. You're checking your body. Che check your body, everyone. Don't be alarmed by the things that happen with your body, find out what the normal thing is with your body, and then you'll have a good base for if something is wrong, and then you can go to a doctor and say, this weird thing's happened to my body. And then that the doctor would be like, like, is that normal? And you can say, no, it isn't, can you help me? And then you'll have a good experience, <laughs> okay. Scrape dirt out of your nails, particularly when they are long. Do you just want me to leave the dirt up there? No, that's not gross, that's good hygiene. Uh, scrape dirt out from under your toenail, particularly the big one. I mean, my toenails are so small I wouldn't be able to get under any of the other toes, to be honest. I'm not going to show you my feet. Uh, picked at chipped nail polish. Why is that gross? That's normal, surely. I don't pick nail varnish off of my nails because that will damage your nail bed. I learnt that when I went to college, so... 
don't do that it's bad for you picked dead skin off of your lips daily i tend to rub more than pick though that's like more of that sort of an action i just rub i just rub the dead skin off of my nails again i think that i've got quite like fast producing skin because every single day I, I have like weird bits of skin. Squeezed the gunk out of your pores so hard that it left red marks on your skin. I was a teenager once, yes I did do that and I've got the scars to prove it. Okay, inspected pore strips for a very long time, admiring the, all the oil and dirt you got out because it looked like a little forest. That makes me feel physically sick. Uh, no, because that makes me feel physically sick. I have not done that. <laughs> Left makeup on overnight because you couldn't be bothered to wash it off before bed. I have done that in the past. Um, when I, Again, when I was a teenager and then I went to college and I learnt how to look after my skin and ever since I have not gone to sleep with makeup because it makes my skin hurt. <laughs> so now, Worn underwear that has a hole or two in it. I mean, well, it says it, it. <laughs> one underwear that has a hole or two or three it 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 great great work um yeah it's wasteful to throw things away that you don't need to i'm gonna scroll past that real quick because i don't really want to look at it hey okay one underwear that has old stains on it particularly period ones that's almost as if it's like pushing the gross angle uh again yeah i have do you know what there is nothing to be ashamed about for staining your underwear, especially from your period. <laughs> because it is a natural function and you know what, sometimes sometimes things happen. So yeah, I have I have done that. Should I be ashamed? Am I gonna post this? <laughs> okay, kept underwear until it's so worn out that the elastic is totally loose and frayed. Again, yeah, I'm gonna do that because I'm not gonna throw something away that is not broken. Uh, waited to do laundry until you run out of underwear. Yeah, I've even like cleaned underwear on a sink before. Picked a particularly deep wedgie out of your butt. Am I just gonna leave it there, really? Are you asking that question? How many people in the world has ha have had underwear all the way up inside there and they've thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna leave it there for all time. Mm -mm not showered for one two or more days you know <laughs> i went to finland once uh and i only had two showers i believe in three weeks not necessarily by choice but you know you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes actually looked forward to plucking an ingrown pubic hair that i mean that i don't believe that that's happened to me um, I don't really look forward to doing anything like that because that would be painful, but okay. Plucked pubic hairs that weren't even ingrown because you just wanted to. Why is that gross? Um, I don't believe I've ever done that, but also I don't understand why that's gross. Admire a double hair growing out of one follicle of your armpit, brackets, or anywhere else. <laughs> really like... <laughs> trying to get as much through as possible there yeah great um no i have never admired that again it makes me feel physically sick but i am just weird <sighs> dug out armpit hairs you couldn't get by shaving alone with the same tweezers that you use to pluck your eyebrows with i don't really see why that's gross personally use a pair of tweezers wherever the heck you want what i would say is if you are going to be um using your tweezers on an area that maybe isn't clean you should definitely clean them before you use them again um and i would suggest using surgical spirit is what we call it in the uk and over the pond in america you call it rubbing alcohol i'm very meticulous again because of the stuff that i learned at college i don't like the idea of dirty cross contamination but that's just me i don't see why that's gross okay Use a Q-tip to scrape the inside of your ear and then inspected the wax that came out. I, man, man alive. 
my ears are messed up. Slight hearing loss in this ear um, and I get a lot of wax build up. Um, I also get ear infections if I get water in my ears but I also want to clean my ears because they're gross. <laughs> so I do use quote unquote q-tips or cotton buds as we like to call them over here. Um, yeah, I do use them to, to dry out my ears more than anything. Smell your own farts, dot dot dot. Even the really bad ones. Is there an option not to be able to smell an expulsion of wind? I feel like you're too close to it to not, not smell it. That's, it's not gross, that's human nature. Again, with the earwax and also the, the farts, something different you're gonna want to go tell your doctor aren't you if you need to so not not gross not weird we should normalize smelling smells <laughs> wash just your crotch instead of taking a full shower um i'm gonna say no to that because you're gonna also want to do your armpits if you're gonna be a thorough human um i mean i did that when i was in finland <laughs> between my two showers um but yeah i uh yeah, no. I also, I had a sauna while I was there also, it wasn't, anyway. Um, okay, or use a damp towel to just get your armpits instead of a shower. Oh, okay. They're the same thing. Smelled your own breath, especially when your mouth tasted like garbage. Does your mouth taste like garbage? Are you okay? Um, I would opt if my mouth tasted like garbage, to brush my bleeping teeth. Thank you very much. Um, maybe you want to go see a dentist if your mouth consistently tastes like garbage also. Smelled your armpit after sweating for a while. This is just normal, you don't... Oh, I smell like deodorant because I had a shower earlier on. Um, I don't understand why this is deemed as gross. Like, you want, like... We all want to smell nice, don't we? Put on deodorant or perfume instead of showering. Fun fact about my skin, um, if I want to wear perfume I have to put it on my clothes because otherwise I come out in hives. <laughs> if anyone wants to murder me I'm giving them lots of ideas on how to. <laughs> Dug out all of the hair from your hairbrush with an old bobby pin. Why is that gross? That's again, you're just being clean. That's a good thing. Do that. Don't feel ashamed of that. Clean out your hairbrush and use a tool if you need to. 41. And finally, stroked your leg hair during a particularly prickly phase because it felt soothing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I have stroked my own legs when they're prickly. Uh, again, not, not gross. Uh, that is tactile. Not gross, just touching your body. So why am I so annoyed about this? I think is probably a good way to end end that. Um, I I think that we as women, people who identify as female or people who feel effeminate, we are held to such ridiculous standards. And I know that like things are being done to sort of like smash the patriarchy and whatever. It's marketed as like, oh, there's this, these gross things that we do, but everybody does it. It's totally normal. Well, why are you saying it's gross? I don't know. It's just the negative wording that annoys me. And it's also like this idea that if you don't shower every single day, that you're dirty. Um, and I'm sure that people who know anything about skin know that actually cleaning your skin every single day and putting the chemicals on your skin can actually cause some really bad issues. I don't know. I just feel like it was negative. There's no need for it. <laughs> Were some of those things gross? Yes, but I also feel like men will do those things as well. I just don't think that it's just 100% women. <sighs> I don't know. It just annoys me. And I felt like I wanted to bring someone on that journey with me. Because when I was reading that originally, oh, it, it annoyed me. It annoyed me a lot. Um, but yeah, so here I am. No makeup on again because my skin is being 
very sensitive. I had a shower today. I didn't shave my legs, so that's uh, how soothing. I've got bloody leg dandruff. Like talking about dandruff on my scalp. Get bloody leg dandruff me. Well, that was the journey, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> Let me know if you enjoyed this type of content, if you want to see me just rant about things that women are told about themselves that aren't necessarily true. Let me know, there's quite a few on there that I've got, including one about makeup, which I really want to talk about. So, <clears throat> if you enjoyed this video, do please press the like button, feel free to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And put down in the comments down below if there are any types of videos that you would like to see me do. That was a great sentence. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Don't let anyone tell you you're gross, okay? Uh, if you take anything away from this video, it is not to let people call you gross for checking yourself, alright? Make sure you check your boobs, make sure you check your vulva. Maybe I won't put that in. But maybe I will, it's important. I think.